if you're like me, you like to maximize space. And in the house I live in now, I don't have a basement. Um, there isn't a whole lot of storage, so I've had to be creative. And one of the bulky things that, of course, we all need to store is an ironing board and an iron. I'm also quite petite, so putting things up high can be a real pain in the neck for me. So this is what I did to solve the um, how to store the iron and the ironing board in this house. So um, a former owner had put this closet, I'm not sure how much of this you could see, but these doors came from bedroom closets and then he put in nicer closet doors. So um, this is where the furnace and the water heater are and he actually pushed the water heater back. So um, I'm going to have to zoom in on some of this so that you can see what I did here. Actually, I'm actually going to have to move the camera. It's so easy with the tripod and everything. And now I'm going to have to zoom out. So um, I got one of these hangy things. So let me move, actually move the camera. And it's mounted on the wall with some pretty heavy duty bolts and I'm going to take off the, um, the ironing board so you can see. The problem is that at the base there is a water meter. Now that's going to be really dark. And so <laughs> we needed for the, um, the ironing board to clear the water meter. And again, I'm short, so I would have liked to have had that space down there at the bottom so I didn't have to have the ironing board so high, but I can get it up and off there. I guess the more um, concerning piece was could I get this um, iron up here, and uh, I can just barely without getting... <laughs> without getting a step stool out. So, and by the way, this iron, I really like. This is a uh, Panasonic. It's my second Panasonic. Between the last Panasonic and this one, I had a Sunbeam that I absolutely hated, and it was bigger than this, and I had to adjust the, oh, it was a pain. So, this one's really nice, and it's a retractable cord. So I can, with one hand, I can put that in here. Now there are a couple other things up here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Um, uh, I'm going to bring this in. So to the left and right of the iron, there are these holders that could hold a can of spray starts, but I don't use them because I put distilled water into my iron. Okay, so then putting the, let me see if I can do this without my back being facing, facing you here. So I can take the iron board and I can just put it in right here. And it's been there for 10 years. It hasn't budged. Um, obviously, whoever put these in, there are five bolts, maybe not four, with washers. And it stays exactly where it should be. And like I said, it clears the, the water meter at the base. So that's what I use. Now my last home, let's see if I can do this. I don't know what we're looking at. In my last home, um, I didn't have this. I actually had a condo and in a closet. I had a closet built with shelving and that, but I had two long pieces of shelving put about this far apart lengthwise, and then I could put the ironing board in there and then just store the iron somewhere else in the closet. So there are ways to work around small spaces and tight spaces, but you just have to get creative and work with people who will help you put things away. I didn't want my ironing board out and showing like in the middle of the utility room or um, laundry room. So that's why I wanted it in the closet. So anyway, that's my solution. I love this thing, this rack. Uh, I'll look it up online to see if I can find one like it. And I'll link to it in the description box below the video. Thanks. Bye.
if you're like me, you like to maximize space. And in the house I live in now, I don't have a basement. Um, there isn't a whole lot of storage, so I've had to be creative. And one of the bulky things that, of course, we all need to store is an ironing board and an iron. I'm also quite